Hey, what's up there, everybody out in YouTube land? Check out this cool armor I just found. It's the Armor of Thorns. And to me, this armor is just fucking badass. I mean, look at this shit. Here, let me get a close-up here. I'll go against the wall. Let's get the camera face right against the... Right against the helmet. Look at this shit. Look at this fucking armor, dude. Get a back shot here. Now, I'm not sure if, uh... When I roll into somebody, like an uh, enemy or anyone in PvP, if uh, they take damage. But I'm telling you, man, this armor is fucking sweet. Just look at that fucking helmet, dude. Look at those shoulder pads, man. Damn, son. Fucking badass. Let me tell ya. Yes, sir. Anyways, uh... Uh, this area here, uh, I'm pretty sure... This is where you can respect your character. Uh, which means, like, if anyone doesn't know, you can, uh, I think you, I think you need Pale Tongues, the item Pale Tongue, to do it. Uh, you can change your appearance. Uh, long finger, oh my god, that's horrible. Fucking kids. Um, you can change your appearance with this person. Uh, you can change, you respect your character, which means like, like say if you're if you're a total mage and you're stuck, you can't beat a boss, right? And you know that you have to uh, either switch to like a melee build or a dex build or a strength build, and you can't beat this boss because uh, say say for instance the boss is like immune to magic or something. I don't know if that'll happen, but you never know. You know, you might get stuck in the game with your current level and stats, so you can pretty much come back here, because I lit the bonfire now. You can come back here and talk to this lady, and uh, you can change your stats around, basically. You can switch from a uh, magic build to a strength build to a, a fucking thief build, whatever it is, whatever you want to change it to. Even your appearance you can change. So I'm pretty sure this is a covenant too, so we're gonna see what's... Yeah, it is a covenant. So I'm gonna ask to join this covenant so I can get the trophy. Yep, there's the trophy pop-up. Rosar Rosaria's fingers. You have obtained proof of the covenant. Oh, see there it is. Offer Pale Tongue. Reallocate attributes, which means you can switch your stats around. Alter appearance, which means you can change, like, say, if you don't like the way how you contoured your face or whatever, get the makeup you put on your character, or whatever, you can change it. But you have to give them pale tongues. Now, I'm pretty sure I got two or three pale tongues, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to check, actually, right now, see how many I have. Uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, I got three of them, right? Which means in this playthrough, if I want to change my my attributes, I can do it three times, or if I want to change my appearance, I can do it three times, which is pretty cool. And I'm I'm pretty sure uh, the only way you can get these pale tongues is by uh, I don't think enemies drop them. I think you gotta do a PVP. With, uh, which covenant is that, actually? Uh, wait, how do I change my covenant again? There it is, right there. I'm pretty sure it is with the Mound Makers. So if you switch to this coven covenant, and you do some online battles, I'm pretty sure you can get Pale Tongues that way. 
I'm pretty sure it's this one, or it might even be the Sentinels? I'm not sure. But anyways, yeah. This armor, though, eh? Wait, what was that? Did I get stuck behind? The camera gets stuck behind? Uh, whatever. Anyway, she looks pretty cool, right? Look, someone else is in here. That's just a phantom. Someone else playing the game. But yeah. She's got those worm things around her. Oh, this game has so much detail. Uh, the thing I don't like about Dark Souls 3 is that when you use the binoculars, you can't walk around, right? Even in Bloodborne, like when you had the... The monocle? Monoc I can't even say the word. Monoc monocle or monocule or whatever. Uh, you, you were able to move around while you are looking through the, the single lens. Uh, Dark Souls 2, you were able to look around. I don't know about Dark Souls 1 because I just bought the game. Actually, I got a pretty good deal on it used. Dark Souls 1. I got it for, uh, what was it, 12 bucks? Yeah, man, I got it for 12 bucks. Uh, I got Demon Souls for 5 bucks. So I pretty much have all of the Souls series games right now, and so far the only one that I've completed is Bloodborne. Uh, I'm still working on Dark Souls 2. I'm working on this game, obviously, Dark Souls 3. I'm not sure when I'm going to start up Dark Souls 1. I know I am going to get around to it. Probably, probably finish that one soon, too. And then, of course, there's Demon Souls, right? I mean, these games are so good. I just, I just love these games. I'm totally addicted to the Soul series. They're just rewarding games. Like you, you complete objectives, and you know you gain experience. And it just feels rewarding. You know, it's been a long time since a game made me feel like I've accomplished something. Anyways, yeah, that's that's this vid, and we'll see you in the next vid, guys. So. Everybody take care. Much love, fam. See you in the next bit.